Welcome to WSN's The Zone, presented by... What did I do this time? This is for making those bad picks. I'm not bailing you out this time, Jerry. Sends the zone presented by Ranch Gnome. I'm Manny Melito. Alongside me is Jerry Mercado, my not so law abiding citizen when it comes to his power rankings. But hey, we've got the power rankings coming up. We've got the new player rankings coming up as well. We got to see a couple of great games last weekend, both at Lamson Field. Let's start with that Kamayak and Moses Lake matchup. Yeah, Manny, uh, Kamayak and you got Jason Hutchins can, coming in, a host of receivers that all can make plays. We see from the very beginning, he hooks up with another receiver, different receiver for a touchdown, Tyler Perrins. Yeah, they run the spread, and that's exactly what Jason Hutchinson did. He spread the ball around mm -hmm. and showed a lot of love to a lot of different receivers. Yep, here you see him going to Brandon Larson. You see Jesse Hauser making some big plays. Yeah, and then also, you know, not just through the air, but Yumamoto also kept the ground game going for these guys. Talk about that kid. Yeah, well, Yumamoto, you know, they started off kind of slow in that first half. The offensive line uh, was was a little off. Uh, they made some adjustments at halftime, and then the second half, Yumamoto just exploded uh, over 100 yards. He really kept the clock moving. Uh, Moses Lake, though, uh, Simmons, uh, the quarterback from Moses Lake, did a great job. Uh, he was able to make a couple plays, but, you know, not enough. The defense was good for Kamaikin, but also Moses Lake helped them out a little bit. There was quite a few turnovers for those Chiefs. Yeah, quite a few turnovers. Uh, Yumamoto makes a turnover. Johnny Jansen was yeah. very impressive. Had a sack, made some plays on defense, and, uh, you know, th they had a couple other receivers that did some things. Uh, Corey McLean did some things for them. You to fix that. Um, I just came out, we focused in the locker room, we talked about what we were going to run, how we were going to read things, where we're, our route running we're going to go, where, where we're going to cut and then go to the outside and stuff. And so we just read that during the game and then we knew what we were going to do out in the second half so we got another touchdown out there. Now, balls. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach ran the ball well and a lot of our receivers catching balls. I mean Andrew Castillo catching a long touchdown pass so it's great when we get a lot of guys involved like we're doing. So the final score, 37-21, the Kamaikan Braves beat the Chiefs. The Braves beat the Chiefs. How about that matchup? And then we move on from two red and gold teams to two blue and white teams. That's right, the Southridge Suns host the Walla Walla Blue Devils. And what can you say about Matt Mendenhall? Matt Mendenhall, 296 yards in that first Man. half. Five touchdowns, unbelievable. I thought he was going to go for some school records, but uh, he, he hooked up with Josh Richards. He hooked up with uh, Garrett Willard. Uh, he hooked up with Paul Hamada. I mean, the kid was slinging the ball all over the place. And then Chris Howder took over as well. Yeah, Chris Howder out of the pistol. The pistol was definitely firing tonight for the Southridge Suns. Howder, 201 yards, an outstanding game out of the backfield for him in a division where they say this is just a passing division. Mm -hmm. Nobody can run the ball with these defense. Now, Howder says, yeah, I can run the ball, and he just stuck it right down Walla Walla's throat. Speaking of running the ball, uh, Mo Hancox had a 97-yard kickoff return, a huge play for them at the time. You know, he, he's just a playmaker. He made plays with the return game. Didn't do much receiving, but, you know, he, he, he makes his chances count. And then Jonah Ho, uh, a kid who also had two, over 200 yards, uh, these were a lot of long runs that he made, a lot of people missing. Uh, Jonah Hole was awfully impressive tonight. Yeah, and we said 201 yards for Howder, 205 yards for Jonah Ho on the ground as well. That is some big rushing numbers here at the Lamp. That's incredible. On yep. this field turf, they were cutting and, and moving and jiving. It looked like dancing with the stars out there. It was incredible. But the defenses on both sides, yeah, they allowed 205 yards to Jonah Ho, but the Southridge defense sticking pretty strong against that passing game. Yeah, they did, and and you can you can you know credit Trey Tut, uh, number 64, a, a big old boy, only a sophomore, going to get better. Their, their nose tackle, and then Garrett Willard also coming yeah. off that end, and that's a that's a preseason pick, pick that I made for uh, all three A defensive end. Uh, uh, Garrett Willard did a great job. A great matchup last Friday, 42-22 the final score in that one. When we come back, we're going to have more games from around the Big Nine, including that gravel pit matchup and Hanford-Richland. So stay tuned to WSN's The Zone, presented by Ranch and Home.